Welcome. Um, we are here to talk about the Connected Care Testbed, uh, IIC approved testbed. My name is Jairaj Nair. I head the IoT practice for Infosys. And I'm Julian Goldman, a physician at Mass General Hospital and Partners Healthcare. And I co-lead the healthcare task group for the IIC. And we're helping with the testbed with our lab at the Mass General Hospital. I'm Stan Schneider, CEO of a company called Realtime Innovations, RTI. I'm also on the IIC steering committee and very involved in all the technologies going on in the industrial internet of things. Excellent. So um, just to give a little context of what a testbed is, uh, if you look at the use cases that are pertinent in the connected care space, uh, you have a reference architecture that supports the use case, and then you have a reference stack, a solution that is stood up to address the use case. So we have stood one up. We have been uh, IIC approved for a while. I want to get a little bit of context on the use case. The use case is around clinic patient care in a clinical setting and a home setting with remote monitoring of the patient. Uh, Dr. Julian, you want to explain uh, more specifics on the use case to the viewers, please? Sure. Well, it's still early in our work on the test bed, so we're still working on the specifics of the use cases. But in general, we're looking at ways that we could improve the quality and safety of healthcare. Uh, unfortunately, preventable medical errors are all too common in hospitals today. In the US alone, the statistics are that around two to 400,000 people a year die in hospitals due to preventable medical errors. Now, we all know how technology has transformed most of our lives. And technology probably can't solve every one of those problems that happen in hospitals, but certainly can play an important role in, in reducing patient injury um, and patient deaths. So as we think about the complex system of the hospital environment with all the medical devices, information that has to be shared, and, uh, and the increasing complexity of healthcare delivery, there clearly are opportunities to improve the quality and safety of healthcare. So the test bed will help us to implement that, to instantiate that part of that vision in a way that involves a group of different companies, a group of different technologies, and we're going to implement that in our medical device interoperability lab, our MDPNP lab, with which we have been using four things like that for the last decade. Excellent, thank you. In fact, uh, you know, coming to addressing that use case. Again, you have the edge tier where you have different types of sensor technologies that collect the data and have to be connected to a platform stack. Uh, maybe, Dr. Stan, you can help us uh, understand the technology involved and the viewers. Okay, please. great. So I'm, I'm very excited about working with the test bed and especially in Julian's lab because we have a lot of experience from different industries and the real power of the industrial internet of things is being able to take technology that may have been developed in other industries and applying them to new use cases. Right. So in, in the hospital clinical case, for instance, these devices need to be connected together in a very highly reliable way. They can have a lot of data, it can be very fast, you can't have any dropouts, you have to know the data is there, you have to be very uh, it's scaled. They have to live in a very complex hospital IT environment. Patients move every day. I think 61% of patients move every day in the hospital. And just tracking those patients around and making sure your device is actually connected to the patient it thinks it is so it can communicate with other devices connected to that patient allows you to really uh, develop these systems. Our, our real goal is to make the connected, intelligent, distributed system, part of the care team. It can check up on what the doctors are doing to prevent errors. It can provide better alarming. There's whole problems with uh, alarm fatigue in hospitals that can be reasonably mitigated by checking the devices against each other and really looking for ways to uh, provide applications that can really be part of the, part of the solution to a huge problem. If, if yeah. I could yeah. you know, comment yes. on that, Stan, I think you're touching on the point that historically our medical devices work completely independently. So historically it works device by device and they don't work together. They don't act like good citizens in the community all in the care of a single patient. We can't develop algorithms that use data from multiple different sensors, different medical devices, and we can't necessarily use that to control something like an infusion pump or another actuator. So the notion of the Internet of Things, especially as applied to healthcare, uh, essentially a medical internet of things with the rigor, the capability, the security, and the reliability that we see in the industrial context can be a key enabler for transforming the way we deliver healthcare. No, absolutely. I think um, the societal impact of this transformation absolutely. can be huge. Yeah. I think in that context, um, 
I think we do you uh, see uh, the industry transforming over the next 18, 16, you know, 24 months with these technologies that we are proving out in the test bed? Well, I think the, the key thing that we can do in the short term is, is convey the vision of what's possible. Right. And the vision is not only a technology vision, it's an, which is a key part, but it's also the vision of showing that diverse companies and technologies can all be brought together to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. Because historically we yeah. have too much siloing and, and that's just not a way to solve an incredibly right. you know, important and complex problem like improving the quality and safety of healthcare. Right. So that to me is one of the big messages here. It's bringing the community together with a focus on demonstrating what's possible because implementation and deployment in clinical environments will certainly take longer than 18 months right mm -hmm. but conveying the vision shouldn't take that long no right. absolutely Stan any and final thoughts on this I, I think that you know it, it's really important to realize that this technology was evolved in many different industries the reliability and the safety and the scale didn't come right. uh, directly from the, the problem of connecting medical devices, you know, there's huge safety critical systems. One of the things, for instance, a standard called DDS, it's a networking standard or anything. It's running the NASA's launch control system, 300,000 devices, needs to be manned safety rated, it's got a lot of security issues. I mean, those kinds of technologies can be applied to these uh, pressing problems and provide much better care in hospitals. Absolutely. I think, so again, thank you, Dr. Julian Goldman from MDPNP. Um, Dr. Stan Snyder from RTI and our partner PTC is not here, but uh, they're also an active partner in this test bed. We look forward to delivering solutions that make a difference in this connected care space. Thank, thank you. Sir. you. Thank you. Thank you.